I am delighted to welcome one of the founding members of the band Chicago, Lee Lochnane, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. Lee, welcome to the show. That was exactly correct. Thank you for having me, Patrick. Well, just... first, first of all, I want to say I've been an enormous fan for many, many years of Chicago, so this is a real treat. Uh, and you guys are coming to town, and you always pull out all your old favorites. It's always a great uh, show for the fans. So what are we anticipating for this coming set? Well, it's going to be, as usual, like a cross-section of the entire career, starting with the song Introduction, which was the first song on the first album. So, And then from there, we just do everything that we can remember. <laughs> <laughs> when you started... Uh, and, and you guys put together Chicago. Uh, it was called the, the Big Thing, and then it became Chicago Transit Authority. It became Chicago. But did you have any idea? It was it was '66? So did you imagine that that 50 plus years later you'd still be doing this? Not not uh, not even close. <laughs> There's really no way to do this. I, I, and I still to this day don't know how we are. It's like smoke and mirrors or something. <laughs> well, I love the sound that you guys created with Chicago because you and you're a part of that sound as the trumpeter and you play the flugelhorn and a lot. I mean, the brass adds so much depth uh, to the sound. And I think it adds to the durability of the band because the sound is essentially timeless the way you guys have put uh, in a, a remarkable instrumentation together. Well, thank you. And uh, uh, when we started, we were changing the like what was happening at the time was more R&B and that's where you would find brass for the most part. And, uh, but they were always background parts, uh, percussive type uh, brass parts and stuff. So that's what Jimmy really changed in, in, in uh, Robert's writing and Jimmy's uh, arranging changed that scenario to make the horns more of the lead voice. And I think that's where we changed music the most. It's remarkable, and, and it's a testament to your longevity. I mean, here you guys are getting ready to be on the road, and we were just talking about this before I started recording. You guys don't miss a show. You've never missed a show. You perform. When you schedule a concert, you go do it. Oh, well, that's right. There's, I mean, why wouldn't we? I mean, <laughs> when people don't go to shows or don't show up for whatever strange reasons, I never understand that, so... and. And thank God the rest of the guys in the band feel the same way as me. So, Well, it's a remarkable work ethic, but it shows up in the finished product. And I know the fans here are excited to, uh, to see you this coming Saturday at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino. You played there before, and it's always a full house, and it's always a ton of fun. Many times, and we can't wait to be back. Look forward to seeing you. We can't wait to have you here. And thank you very much for spending a little time with us on Eye in the Desert. Thanks, Patrick. Take it easy.